Until now, the keyboard diagram has shown only the black keys with more than one note name, known as enharmonic note names. For example, add a sharp to C, and it becomes C sharp. Add a flat to D, and it becomes D flat. Two different note names for this same key, enharmonic note names. But what if we want to add a flat to C? While there is no black key between C and B, there are enharmonic note names for the white keys that have no black keys between them. These give us the note names C flat, F flat, B sharp, and E sharp. With the addition of these note names, we now have every note name in the musical alphabet, every note name in the musical alphabet with a sharp, and every note name in the musical alphabet with a flat. This provides us every note name needed to write every major scale there is. The best way to illustrate these white key and harmonic spellings is to look at the C sharp major scale and the C flat major scale. In the C sharp major scale, every note has a sharp. In the C flat major scale, every note has a flat. Both of these scales will use the same musical alphabet starting on C. Both will have their notes placed on the staff in the same location as the C major scale. And both use enharmonic note names found on the white keys. Let's look at the C sharp major scale first. Since both the C sharp major scale and the C flat major scale use the musical alphabet starting on C, let's write that below the staff. Considering this lesson is about familiarizing ourselves with the enharmonic note names on these white keys, we're going to work backwards this time. We'll start with the completed C sharp major scale notated on the staff with the note names written below. Notice every note has a sharp in the C sharp major scale. Working backwards, we first wrote the musical alphabet starting on C. We're making the C sharp major scale so we knew the first note name was C sharp. Using the sequence of whole steps and half steps, we went up two whole steps. Two whole steps up from C sharp are D sharp and this key. Looking at the musical alphabet, we see the next letter is E. Since this note has to be some kind of an E and needs to be a whole step up from D sharp, we'll use the enharmonic note name on this white key, E sharp. Next, one half step up from E sharp is F sharp. Then three whole steps, G sharp, A sharp, and the last whole step is this key. Again, we need some kind of B since that is the next letter in the musical alphabet. Again, we'll use the enharmonic note name for this key, which is B sharp. Lastly, one half step up. A half step up from B sharp is C sharp. That's the C sharp major scale. As you can see, everything works exactly the same as it has with every other major scale. Now let's look at the C flat major scale. Just like the C-sharp major scale, the C-flat major scale uses the musical alphabet starting on C. We'll do the same thing as before, work backwards. Here is the C-flat major scale with note names written below. Notice every note has a flat in the C-flat major scale. The C-flat major scale starts on C-flat, so the very first note uses the enharmonic note name for this key, C-flat. Two whole steps up from C flat are D flat and E flat. One half step up from E flat is this key. F is the next letter in the musical alphabet, so it has to be some kind of an F. So we'll use the enharmonic spelling for this key, which is F flat. Three whole steps up from F flat are G flat, A flat, and B flat. Then, one half step up from B flat is C flat again. That's the C flat major scale.